In Adobe Premiere Pro, HSL Secondary is my top favorite tab in terms of color grading. Today I'm going to show you how you can use HSL Secondary to color grade your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Welcome to the world of Adobe Premiere Pro and this is the clip that we are going to use for this project, right? I'll put a link in the description below so that you can download the exact same clip and follow along with me. So how you can go to HSL Secondary, first you need to go to window and from here you need to click lumetri color if you click here then this panel will appear and from then you need to scroll down the next tab after color will and matches hsl secondary so this is the tab that we are going to use for this project right so if you don't see the hsl secondary perfectly then you need to go to here and from here you can click color so that the color workspace load and from here you can take access of hsl secondary more clearly right so what does this hsl secondary do using hsl secondary you can select individual color and then you can alter the color as you want suppose you want to select the face then you can select it using the key section so how does this key section works suppose you want to select this green plant right then you need to click here on this green section and then if you click here on this check box it will show what color have been selected right you can see the plant haven't selected properly so we need to change the selection from here if i expand the color then you can see that color have been selected properly now you can change that color right and if you want to reset then you can just double click here it will reset and then you can just disable the selection view right so if i want to change the color of my face if i want to change the tone of my face then i need to select the face how you can select that i can manually select it from here maybe i can click on this red icon and then i can change it just like that this is the manual way that you can follow to select the face or any individual color to see what portion you have selected you need to check this box then it will show the selected portion right but i will not use that i will use the eyedropper tool that is the easiest way to select an individual color so there are three type of eyedropper tool first one is one single picker if you select it and then you click it will select a single tone or single color the second one is plus eyedropper it will add more color with your existing selection and the next one is minus eyedropper that will minus the selection that you want right so i'll select the second one which is plus eyedropper dropper and then if i click and drag it will select my face properly right now if i show you the selection you can see it has selected my face properly now you can modify the selection in a better way maybe you can increase or decrease the selection if you want right so that has been selected properly now the next option after keying is refine using the refine option you can refine the selection suppose you want to feather out the selection a little bit right then you can just use this blur slider if you increase the blur it will feather out the selection so that when you are changing the color it will not look odd right and if you want to denoise it a little bit then you can increase the denoise i will not increase the denoise a lot i just increase the denoise maybe five to ten percent maybe six percent right and then the next thing which is the most important thing which is correction using this correction wheel you can change the color you can add different tone you can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness if you want suppose you want to increase the brightness of your face a little bit then you can just click and drag this section it will brighten up the face right you can see the face have been brightened up and if you want to decrease the brightness you can just click and drag it just like that it will decrease the brightness for this video i will not use that i will just double click here to reset it and maybe you want to add more orange tone on your face then you can just click and drag it towards the orange color it will add orange tone on your face under the color fill you will see temperature if you want to change the temperature of your face then you can do that if you want to change the tint then you can do that for the correction if you want perfect skin tone you can do that in this way right you can increase contrast or you can increase sharpness or you can increase or decrease the saturation from here right so that is the thing that you can use so suppose you have added some color on your face you have corrected the skin tone now you want to add different tone on the background and you want to protect the face right how you can do that you need to go to effects control panel if you go here on this effects control panel and if you don't see effects control panel you need to go to window and from here you can click effects control this panel will appear and from here we'll see lumetri color which is this one that we have made earlier right so if i disable it you can see this is the previous version and this is the after 
now i want to duplicate this lumetri color if i right click here then if i click copy it will copy and then if i right click here and then if i press paste it will paste lumetri color again now you can see there are two different instances of lumetri color effect and the face color saturation have been increased because we have added two separate lumetri color why we have added the second one because we want to use that mask the existing mask to select our background so you need to go to lumetri color and from here you can click on this section and select the second one and go to hsl secondary and from here from the mask option you need to invert the mask if you click here it will invert the selection now if i show you the selection you can see it has selected the background without the face so that is what we want so that we can color grade our video in a better way we can alter the background color whatever we like right so now go here on this correction tab double click here to reset and now in the correction tab you will see three different dots just beside this one dot right this one click here then you will see three different color wheels and using this color wheels you can alter different sections if you want to change the shadow tone you can do that if you want to change the mid tone you can do that and also if you want to change the highlight tone you can do that so i will add separate color here on this shadow section using this tool so just click and drag it towards blue or teal now you can see it has introduced some teal color here on this background and to compensate it i want to add some orange color or yellow color on the mid-tone side click and drag it and also i want to add some orange color here on the highlights again i will add more teal color here on this shadow and now if i show you the before this is the before and this is the after so in my opinion this is a better way to color grade your video if you use hsl secondary because you can select the skin tone separately and again you can select the background separately and change the background color if you want if you want to add different tone on the background then you can do that and it will keep your skin tone intact that is the plus point of using hsl secondary so i believe you have understand how you can use hsl secondary to color grade your video in adobe premiere pro if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye